the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. A few moments later. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Since your brother is leading our forces south, and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now that's what I'd like to hear. 
Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Shall be done. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone.
I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. I shall do it. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra, 
Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Of course, darling. You must have many things to do before Fergus and your father leave. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. It shall be done. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to behead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Rice, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, brother, won't you? Oh, good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Oh! 
you say. Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? Her scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I most certainly will not. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Let's go downstairs and find out what's happening. More enemies ahead. I'm gonna drive you from my land myself. I shall do it. Oh, dear Landry. I'm, I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. As you say. Can you hear the fighting? Howl's men must be everywhere. Don't be foolish. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let us be swift. Yes, my lord. Here, here they come.
Get to the castle gates. That's surely where your father is. Man the gates! Keep those bastards out as long as you can! Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive! I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. We are alive. What of you? Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the Maker, you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hell's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. A few moments later...
You both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. You can't get away with this. The king will. Bryce, we must get you out of here. I. I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will can make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. House men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tierner and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly, then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father, at his side to death and beyond. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, 
Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. What is it now? 
Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Eager, are we? <laughs> Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. A few moments later Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory. A knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight.
be done. That Grey Wardens. Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. begun. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master at Ostagar was asking about those. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it is all.
shall be done. Begun. So, you're the one we spent all that time waiting for, hmm? Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? 
or merely an intruder? Come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Hmm, there is a sensible request. <laughs> I like you. I'd be careful. First it's, I like you, but then zap. Frog time. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Excellent. You will need that courage to face what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. 
I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Child, had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able.
Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the young lord from High Ever I met earlier. I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from to cover. To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Magi... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. I will be fighting beside the King with the rest of the Grey Wardens, again at his request. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Of course it will. The blight ends here.
Let's cross the bridge and get to the tower of his shop. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves.
Take his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Good point. I need to stay focused. Kill first, ask questions later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. I shall do it. Logain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
begun.
sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. Let's move! finally open. Mother shall be pleased. You were injured and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious, dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I will stay and make something to eat. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. By ourselves? 
No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon? Or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kaelin's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course! We could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help! Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the Blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. A few moments later...
and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you, or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh... They don't look much like them others, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got a pay. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the King. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. What do you say, gents? With that kind of bounty, we can retire. Let's be heroes to the kingdom. More energy. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chests we brought. I swear. What, are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. But there aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. Bless you. The Darkspawn can have this place. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? 
falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it? Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with Darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. Well, we'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Ah, oh, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. I don't like Sad to watch. Watch how helplessly they scurry about. I shall do. Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. Why do you... Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Ah, oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit... Eccentric. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take Shall the. Marad is not Marad is be done.
Very well. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Samuel. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wolves. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, Bo. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I shall do it. dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. Not embarrassing at all. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a, what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor, though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform, but my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Enchantment! Enchantment? Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. A few moments later...
Indeed. Yes. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. So I'm not good enough for you? Fine. See if you get into the tower on your own. Well, good things come to those who wait. And maybe you should wait a little longer. Not that I'm saying I'll eventually let you in. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. <laughs> 